This man's death saved lives. He didn't die in a conventional war, but a medical one. He is an accidental icon. And his name was Terry Higgins. <laughs> Terry grew up in Haverford West. He was gay and moved to London to find a new life. He got a job at the famous nightclub, Heaven. Age 37, Terry fell ill and became one of the first in the UK to die with AIDS. With that, his friends and his family all kind of rallied around together and created the Terence Higgins Trust, which was to help eliminate the stigma and educate people through that uh, uh, pandemic and just to allow people to understand what was happening, what's available, the troubles and, you know, the fear that was coming from that. Have you seen this? There are boys dying. Terry died in 1982. The period and the crisis is captured in the new drama It's a Sin by Welsh writer Russell T Davis. Lisa Power, herself a gay rights icon, remembers the era well. It was scary. People were dying, but they didn't understand why they were dying. We had AIDS denialists, just like we have COVID denialists now. And that was horrendous. And in this country, probably hundreds of people, but globally, hundreds of thousands of people died unnecessarily early because of people who told them that AIDS was all a plot and they shouldn't take the, they shouldn't take the medication. And that was horrific. But the world has changed, and with it, new icons, like Gareth Thomas. I was fearful of being tested positive, but I was fearful because I didn't understand what test, being tested positive means. Medication has moved on. People with HIV can lead a normal life, but there are still major problems. So Wales is very, very high with late diagnosis, where we are finding a lot of people are not testing because they feel that, you know, it's never a risk to them. It doesn't affect them. Um, at the moment, I have a lot of clients who are, who are heterosexual, white, in their 40s, that this was something they never even thought of and never even came into their heads. So there's more to do. But this isn't the 1980s, and advances were made after the death of a Welshman. The thing about Terry Higgins is he's an icon, and people in Wales don't know that he was Welsh. Um, it's horrid that Terry Higgins died, but let's celebrate that out of that came a major charity that's done loads over the decades for people and just another lad from, from Pembrokeshire caused all of that.